Hello YouTube! Uh, because I got my new Smosh t-shirt, I'm going to make a tribute uh, to Smosh for Anthony and Ian. Uh, so uh, I hope you guys like this. I'm going to make my top 13 uh, Pokemon today. Yeah, sounds fun, doesn't it? Yeah. My first number 13 is Cubone. And as you can see here, I have drawn it. And here is the Pokemon card for it. Um, not all of the Pokemon I'm going to show you today uh, I draw and have on card. So uh, don't get your hopes up. And maybe I'll spoil a thing of, or two. Um, Cubone I like because I think it's sweet, cuddly and um, has bone over its head. <laughs> And I just think it's freaking hilarious how it hits uh, people with that bone club and he can throw it like a boomerang and weird stuff like that. Um, my number 12 is a Snorlax. Here I have a card and the drawing again. Uh, Snorlax is my number 12 because um, He's sleeping a lot, eating a lot, and he can make other Pokemon sleep, I believe. Um, this is a very effective, uh, you know, attack. So I really love this Pokemon. Um, my number 11. Yeah, my number 11 is Venonat. And as you can see here, I have the drawing, but I have the card of the Evolve stage right here. Uh, I like Venonat uh, because uh, even though it's a bug Pokemon, I think it's cute. Uh, Misty is trying to uh, go get one at some point, I believe, but she's afraid of it. Uh, I think it's too uh, cute to be, uh, you know, afraid of. But what should I say about that? Nothing. Um, my number 10 is Pikachu or Pichu because I actually best like Pichu, uh, you know, uh, the stage under Pikachu with the big ears and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to link a picture of it down below and as you can see here I have a card and write you on the other side. But no one might write you, I like Pichu, Pichu, yes, okay. And next I have uh, this, this is a Voltment from Skyfer uh, and you need a stone uh, or steel or something, you can trade with somebody and then you can get this. Very awesome also, I don't remember, I think it's Kabuto, no it's not, ah, never mind, I'm going to link it down below and you can find it there. Okay, my number 8 is Gyarados, as i drawn here. Uh, I actually like the red Gyarados even more, uh, but it's very hard to catch. Uh, if you catch a Magikarp, it will evolve uh, to Gyarados, uh, Magikarp. But um, Magikarp doesn't do a lot of stuff. Uh, Gyarados is so much more awesome because it has Hyper Beam and all sorts of weird, um, yeah, combos. I even believe it can learn fly. No, I cannot. Never mind that. Um, next, <laughs> my number seven is Charmander, and I even have the card right here. Uh, I really do like Charmander, uh, a except, exceptional from the series, um, the one Ash is, is going to get, because it's so lonely and it's faithful to its trainer, even though the trainer left it to die. So, yeah, I really think that Charmander is a good and dependable Pokemon. Um, I'm not sure to say that. Um, but yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about, you know, faithful, dependable, you love stuff like that. And my number five is uh, Marip. Uh, it's actually a sheep Pokemon, as you can see here. 
um, looks like a sheep. But I still think it has some awesome, you know, skills and stuff. I don't actually know what kind of Pokemon this is, but I'm guessing now I have the evolved stage on card that's called a Faf Flaffly or something like that. Flaffly. Uh, it's a Thunder Pokemon, so I guess the non involved stage is. Yeah. That too. So. Oh, just. Sorry, guys. I really need uh, to do this. Uh, My uh, number uh, four is um, Zapdos. Oh my god, Zapdos. This is Zapdos. This is a uh, Thunderbird Pokemon. Uh, I think even it's unique or something. And there's also um, this. This is Articuno. And this is Moltres. Wow. But um, I think that Zapdos is the cool one of these three, even though this has fire and this has wind. I really like um, they're all three. And also I have Oho right here. Also think that's worth, uh, you know, with a fifth place is Oho. But if I forgot the numbers or mess up, uh, no need to worry, you can see the link down below. Um, this is my number four, this is Mew. Uh, I actually really wanted a, you know, a teddy bear or something um, of this, but I never seemed to get one. Maybe it was a big problem here in Denmark. I'm not sure it is a problem elsewhere. Just saying. Uh, my number three is a Persian, and I even have a glitter card. I'm not sure you guys can see it. Glitter card of Persian. The the reason why Persian is my number three is because it's the villains uh, Pokemon, and it it can give you money. So if I had this Pokemon in real life, I'll be using it for getting money, and yeah using dark attacks on my enemy. Uh, my number two is uh, is Wolfpix. This is a very good drawing I made here and Pokemon card. Some of the drawings are not that good because it's a long time since I've drawn these so please uh, yeah don't judge on that. And here is Ninetales. The evolution in glitter, pop up a glitter card. Okay, uh, I like wolf pigs the best because I think it's cuter. Uh, I believe that Brux is getting one for uh, from a teacher or uh, of a trainer at some point, a girl, and uh, he just adores it. I don't believe he ever evolves it to a nine tails. I could be wrong. I have not seen the full series yet. Um, I'm going to do that at some point. Okay, my number one Pokemon is an Eevee. We Yes. As you can see I have the card here as well. Eevee? Yes. I know it's a bad drawing. Um, I really like this Pokemon because it has a lot of evolving stages. It can be like Vaporeon, Jolton, Flameron. Uh, so it can have all kinds of elements. It can also be to an uh, Espeon and I think it's the other one. Oh, what's the name of that? Ebion, I believe. I'm not sure, but for day and night it can be um, it can be cloned to that with a stone. And if you get a Dito and an Eevee, you can breed uh, them so you get a lot of EDVs. So you can get one of each kind. I even believe there is an EV for, you know, stone and one for, um, one for grass or something like that. Maybe steel also. I'm not sure about that. And here, um, to last, I'm going to show you my uh, Pikachu doll, Pika Pika. 
I have this. Uh, this was the most easy one uh, one to get. So, and as I said, I would like to have a Eevee um, doll or a Mew doll. I have not seen those before. And also, I'm going to show you some of the other Pokemon I have maybe have missed on my list. I know this is number one also on my list, Sensacral, because I have this as a doll at home. And Sensacral is a fire Pokemon, and it's very cute, I think. And it has very awesome uh, power moves. Um, and you could get a special stone, so it evolves. I f believe it needs a fire stone. I'm not sure, but it can evolve again after I warm it. Okay. And also a uh, Huntdown. And I'm not sure why I took this. Because it, maybe it evolved to Houndoom. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's very nice. I have this Growly. Or what the fuck it's called. I'm not sure to pronounce it. And this is very cool. Uh, Ash actually gets this where it's still, you know, young and haven't evolved yet. But when it evolves, it's just so cool because it's taking a pig in its. It still has the pig in its mouth, and being all coolish like Squirtle. But I still found this better and uh, has some awesome move also. And if I had. Wishes for Pokemon, I have actually drew some. Uh, this was an idea for Eevee Evolve for, uh, you know, you know like uh, it had fire, when, uh, but it doesn't have, you know, it has fire, electricity and water, but it don't have wind. That's why I made this so Eevee could evolve to wind. Uh, this is my idea for evolving um, Eevee. Um, I'm going to not going to say the name of these because this is only ideas. This is not real Pokemon, it's my uh, Pokemon. And if Eevee could evolve itself without you know stone and stuff like that, I have this. I don't know if you guys like it, but that's my idea of an Eevee evolved without any stone and some stuff like that. And a flame run full evolved, evolved again, you know, like maybe you can use a fire stone or something. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Also, um, I have a Vaporeon full uh, evolved. Uh, especially like tail of this um, and it was uh, supposed it could swim this with uh, you know so uh, I'm not sure and this is the evolvement of their Jolton I especially like the head and the tail of this uh, sorry if you guys cannot see it that clearly but um, it was supposed to be like this the last one was pretty special to me. Um, my last idea here, I'm going to show you. It's called Wolf, but I don't know, maybe a beta idea for the name you can give me down below. It's this. It's supposed to be a evolvement of nine tails and all the uh, evolvements of Eevee combined. If you can imagine that, so uh, you know, it could have all the elements inside it. I know it sounds pretty wild, but there's a lot of wild stuff uh, here in my home. Actually, I have a happy cow. Woo! Happy cow. So, yeah, that was my tribute to Smosh. Hope you like it. Happy cow and me saying goodbye and have a good day and remember to subscribe me. Yeah, bye. Happy cow. Happy cow.